Hello and welcome to another extended play at videogamer.com. I'm Tom Pearson and I'm here with Neon Kelly today. Hello. How are you, Neon? I'm good. What are we playing? We're playing Resistance 3 and we're playing Throw the Grenade Far Into the Distance. Yeah, see, like... Don't I, get that explosive anywhere near I the end of this. I didn't know how strong his arms were and I thought, <laughs> you know, if I aim it up a bit, it will dip due to gravity. We're on Earth, right? <laughs> well, Resistance. It, it did dip, but it just dipped quite far yeah. away. It's a good survival tactic. You throw the grenades. Yeah. They freak out, they turn around, you shoot them in the back of the head. It's I don't extra know any, right, I don't know any game that the the AI will ever stand on top of a grenade. they like the first thing, right? If you're programming a game, the yes. first thing you're gonna do, right, AI, hmm, right, grenade, run from grenade. That's the first thing I personally would program. But you want them to stand on top of them, you said. Yeah, that makes it more fun, it makes it easier. Yeah, but explosive. then you throw the grenade and they'd rot, so they you'd throw the grenade into the cornfield and they play fetch. Yeah. <laughs> This is meant to be an alien invasion. Oh, there goes another one. Well, maybe Any luck with that? Stupid. No. No. Uh, this is meant to be an alien invasion story, right? It wouldn't be much of a scary invasion if the aliens willfully ran onto every grenade. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, would be, it would be a resistance full of man to unbelievably dense aliens. <laughs> unbelievably stupid aliens. Oh, no. We only, we're down to our last several thousand grenades. <laughs> Once that happens, we may not have any way of killing the aliens. Uh, they just like the glowy things, and that's what they like. We are playing as, can you guess who? Joseph Capelli. Joseph Capelli. Uh, I haven't played much Resistance 1, 2, or 3. This is probably the first time I've played it. But I do know uh, yes. the spoilers coming up for anyone who does want Big to know. Big spoilers. <clears throat> you are playing as the character who killed the last character, Nathan Hale. You shot that man in the face. Shot him in the face because he was infected, like, wasn't it? But, um... That's the only cure. Yeah. Um... <laughs> this is why is this not playing? It is. It is playing. There was a long silence. There. I thought. I thought it would gone all black to symbolise no, the guy fine. being shot in the face and dying. Um, yeah, we're we're on a little recon mission at the moment. The what are we is, reconning? Some uh, big. I don't really know. That's a what, terraformer. What, what is that? It's a terraformer, apparently. Right. Yeah. It's forming the terror. Forming the terror. That's that's something that what makes different shaped land. We're going to fight a war on terror. Terraformers. Terraformers. Oh, look, he looks sad. He looks like a sad Adrian Brody. Yeah. And Adrian Brody looks quite sad already. And he's got teeth around his neck. I know. That's not, that's not regulation uniform. I know, right? Well, they don't. They're sort of like rebels. They don't need uniform, do they? I'm going to wear teeth around my neck so people know that I will not conform You're to society. You're a badass rebel. You can see how badass he is. He's pretty badass. He took teeth out of something. Um, right, so we're looking for a terraformer. No, no, we we found one. We found like, the terraformer. We saw the terraformer. What up, terraformer? Okay. I'm not good with keeping up. We're trying to get back because we're like, uh, oh, there's loads of terraformers. Oh, I've seen the terraformer. back to HQ, and they were like, what? This chapter is called Paradise Lost, and it's a, a homage to the Funny. classic work of oh. literature. <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't realize that from my the first ten minutes in here. If uh, if Hollywood filmmakers decided to make a Hollywood version, film version of Paradise Lost. Milton's Paradise Lost it probably would but here it is quite a lot like that there that, that thing is a beast it's a uh, paradise tron Tommy Tommy Dean right Tommy Dean he can run Tommy Dean he ain't making no friends on the way never trust a man with no surname he's got a, oh no, he's, two first names he's, yeah you see whereas someone like Harrison Ford you could absolutely trust because he's got two yeah. so, uh, so <laughs> we're, trust we're running Ford. for this kind of dilapidated house we're in Oklahoma yeah today not the musical. Oklahoma. I don't have a musical guys. I just <laughs> like that. Funnily enough, mm -hmm. um, it's very intuitive. Yeah, but um, Tommy Dean, right? Tommy Dean. He just runs from everything. He's he's so Wouldn't chicken. You? <laughs> don't shoot that dead lady in the ass. It's terrible. What See that doing? other explosion. That okay. This gun, the pistol gun, is such a cool gun because the I don't pistol know, you know, gun. The, the that, pistol uh, gun. The pistol gun. That's his technical name. Yeah. The pistol. Gun. gun. You you shoot with the with the trigger, with the, the primary shooting. Yeah, and then you. Uh, you're not I'm not going to trigger. <laughs> you're trigger. Not, you're if not you want to get technical, trigger. But you, you shoot, shoot the first it. one, and then you shoot its alternative fire, and it explodes. It's really awesome. I really like the guns, and I've only used three of them. I like so the guns. Far. The guns. The basket guns. I, the, the buttery bis biscuit the guns. Buttery biscuit guns. <laughs> Um, yeah. Right, so what, what are you using now, though? This is not a pistol. This is your standard. Another gun. grenade. Will we have success? That's yes! I think you got oh, something that time. Where'd he come from? Couldn't really see, because you're busy fighting this guy. Ah! Oh, bullseye. bullseye. Exploding rounds. Yeah. 
Wow. I don't really think you should be rewarded for hitting the enemy when they're that close. Well, why not? Well, it's kind of hard to miss. Takes, well, it takes a man to hit. He was right man. up in your grills. Exactly. I had to stop him. Oh, what's oh this? this gun is awesome. Oh, let's have a look at the little blue it, pizza drawing. It can, uh, it can shoot through walls. Okay. Look at that. So it's a perfect dart gun. Is it? Yes. I've never played dart. That's why I said Durfick Park. D you never played Durfick Park. No, <laughs> I've, never, I've never played that either. Mm. Um, shoot my buddy. Don't shoot the blue one. Blue one's your friend. There See? you go. Nice. Cheap shots, apparently. Uh, what are you actually shooting them with? The gun. No, I, mm, I mean, what's coming out of the gun? The but bullets. It but it doesn't harm the wooden walls. Yeah, that's the point. Like, it goes through the walls. It's a ghost gun. It goes good. Okay, now we're going for a light jump in the woods. Well, I'm, I forget, so we're trying to escape so we can tell our mates about the terraformer, yeah? Yeah, we're trying to get back to tell everyone to um, leave our little hidey hole. Get out of there, there's a terraformer. Run. Pretty much. You don't need to use the through the walls thing for that. Cause you there's something quite cool that I love. The, the, you know, I played. I didn't play this for too long, but I absolutely love it. Is the health bar? Yeah. You have a health bar. You have a pool. You don't have regenerating health. And I, I've never played the first two, but I'm assuming that's what they used to do as well. I can't remember. But it's something head. that like you don't see anymore. Yeah. Well, you sit here. Oh well, yeah, it's old, sure. It's old school. That every single game has some form of regenerating health. I mean, I mean, even Halo, Halo Reach, that had. A health pool, but it still had regenerating health on top of that. A health pool? Why do you say pool? A health pool, a pool of health to uh, take your health from. You dip in. Take yeah, it. I know, but it's a health bar. I don't know, pool. Well, it's not. Ooh. It's a circle, really, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yes, I suppose. But, um, it's not so convinced that makes it a pool, but... Yeah, but uh, my point being is that you, if you're in very low health, you, you really have to, you have to think differently about how you play yes. because you're going to die. It's like Counter-Strike, isn't it? Yes, you do. You need to follow Tommy Dean, basically. Oh, seriously. Yeah. This guy, he wants to leave me, he'd leave me in a heartbeat. I, well, I think that makes him very savvy, to be honest. And, like, uh, he needs to get back and tell everyone about the telephone. Makes a, a bit of a knob. Plus, also, like, whoever gets back to base first gets the cool job of breaking the news. Oh, okay. If he, Tommy Dean gets... Tommy Dean, Tommy Dean. Hey, hey, Tommy Dean, what's up? Because, oh, there's a terraformer. And everyone goes, oh, my God, thanks, Tommy Dean. And you'll be like, oh, hey, guys. And like, oh, yeah, we heard from Tommy Here Dean. Here comes Joe, yeah. Hey, guys. Uh... Tommy Dean, Hero of the Hour, and Tom Pearson. And Tom... Well, it's Tommy not Tom Dean. Pearson. It's, I... Sorry, sorry, Capelli. Joseph Capelli. Joseph. But, like... Tommy Dean, right? Tommy all Dean. he does is run away. He doesn't help me at all. I've saved his life once in a cutscene. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, I d he hasn't saved me once. It's rubbish. No, he's shown you where to go, though. No, he's rubbish. He's, he's the only guy who can open doors, though, so... Right. Well, see, that's pretty powerful. You want him to go on the mission. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you're going to find run up against serious opposition every time you find a locked door. <laughs> and because you've got a gun that fires through... Walls. You yeah. can't even shoot the lock off. Do you know, I don't. Be like, oh, this is the one situation. <laughs> yeah, you can't I really the don't want off. the through wall guns. Because only got one bullet. Pew, left pew. Oh, no, you know, you're killing like squirrels. Maybe and all you sorts could use the butt of the gun, or maybe that would go through That's the wall. That's a good point. How? How are we even holding this gun for a start? What do you mean? How? Well, like, you know, it's all invisible. Like, you know. What do you mean it's, inv it's not invisible? You can well, see it. No, you know, no, the bullets. bullets can go through walls. Okay, how do you They're load not... the gun for a start? Uh, the bullets aren't invisible. No, the, okay, not invisible, but how do you how do you touch something that doesn't exist? It's like trying to hold water. How I see. You see what I mean? It's how do you load the gun? I think it's like a water pistol, but instead of putting it into a bucket of water, you put it into a bucket of whatever we're shooting. Magnetism? You use magnets to load the gun. You get a bucket of magnetism. <laughs> is that possible? It is for Joseph Capelli and Tommy Dean. Quick, we need seven more buckets of magnetism. It just feels a bit cheating, that gun, to be honest. Where's Tommy Dean? I'm getting worried uh, about it. Tommy Dean is just being a coward, as usual. Nice one, Tommy Dean. Go, to be fair, he is going to survive, though. In the real world, see, the real life, you do. You, you don't have a health pool, do you? You know, you've got, well, you've got a health bar. I've got a health bar, and it doesn't regenerate yeah. that quickly. It does regenerate, but only over a very long period of time. <laughs> over months. <laughs> Well, that Imagine if wings. Or if if this was that realistic, if you got shot, you're like, ah, <laughs> ah, dang, you, you ah. Got, <laughs> oh, that smarts. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't um, you can't play it again until you've healed. <laughs> it's probably gonna take like quite a few months. I've never been shot. Log back in like a week later, and no. you still can't play. I've never been shot. Croydon is quite a good place to get shot. <laughs> well, I was I shooting here the other day. You could learn. Really? Oh, and dear. Shot with an old-fashioned gun, I believe. Wow. Not with a through walls gun. Well, <laughs> I'd be very scared if the through walls guns existed. I just thought of something, Tom. Yeah? 
Right, so you need to train your troops, right? Yeah. And, you know, because you've got to send them out into the field with, with knowledge. That's yeah. important. Go, how, how do you do target practice with a gun that goes through walls? What do you mean? Well, because like, it's okay. So you're on the firing range. See if you follow my chain of thought here. You're on the firing range. Okay. So you line up, and you aim at the target, and your bullet goes straight through the target. Oh yeah. How do you know you hit goes, it? And like you know, like maybe you've got the target range That's true. set up in front of the mess hall or something. Oh, I know. I got it. Major McGuffin <laughs> is in there, getting planning the next. Because if you miss, if you miss, it just goes straight through and hits them. Major McGuffin. Major McGuffin. That's that's tr yeah you you're right. I've got an idea. How yeah. about you go to the butchers and get some old pigs and just you know like <laughs> pig corpses. You could have an actual meat shield. Yeah, meat, meat, meat shield. shield would actually work. It still doesn't like you'd have to have a, like a wall of meat to stop the bullet if you missed. Yes, you would. But it'd be quite good because if you're out in the field and you're a bit hungry, you could just eat a bit of your meat shield. <laughs> you know, you could go out for days at a time. Oh, you did a jump. Why did you jump ahead there? Uh, because I spent play, about very 10 badly. minutes trying to find this one last guy. Who's in here, actually? Hello. He was just hiding. He's hiding like behind his meat shield. A bit like Tommy Dean. Coward. He's been looking for a pork chop big enough. But <laughs> alas. Bam. Um, yeah. You could use streaky bacon. Kicking ass. That's kind of like for your arms. <laughs> just wear meat. Yeah. You become the Lady Gaga. Of the the Lady Gaga well, She wore meat, didn't she? She did. She'd be okay. Uh, Lady Gaga would be fine in resistance. And I'm going to shoot at her as well, so she better wear that meat shield. <laughs> right. If, for the, if she gets shot, I didn't do it. That's just a joke. Okay. Well, you know, that was a look at Resistance 3. It's coming out on September the 9th. You better check it out. Anyway, that's all from me and Neon. Goodbye. Bye.